up everybody it's wild whiskey wolf what up we're with uh tebow uh owner of fast by few and today tebow's basically going to go over with us a little bit more information on everything you need to know about flashing your motorcycle ecu so uh basically the first question we have for you is what is flashing an ecu uh flashing the ecu is is pretty uh pretty basic um there's a couple of people that uh some of us businesses use to flash different companies but basically what it is is it's a software that allows us to go into the actual computer and we change the parameters inside it it's pretty simple awesome and uh why would someone want to get their motorcycle ECU flash? Like basically, can you go over some of the benefits of flashing an ECU? Uh, the benefits are very, very elaborate. So basically the easiest way to do it is um, the one most important thing is you get to adjust your fan temperatures. You know, riding on the street, one of the worst things that, that, that goes on is uh, the fan temperatures you know when the motorcycle is running at 230 degrees it is hot so what a lot of us that flash like to do is we kick the cat the the fans on super early you know 180 185 degrees so that way when you're at a light you know you don't the bike doesn't melt you you know especially during the summertime it's so nice that's that's number one number two is power you know all the new bikes are so restricted um so you get to get your your full power and then uh number three is when you do remove a lot of your emissions um like your exhaust servo butterfly or your pair valve um a lot of the new bikes will throw codes and they sell special servo deletes and they sell all these delete plugs that that basically will allow the computer not to throw a code and with the flash we don't we, we just turn it off internally so there's no code awesome and uh, the next question we have for you is uh, what types of motorcycles can get in ECU flash um, basically any bike that's fuel injected uh, gets an ECU flash um, realistically you want to focus more uh, towards the newer models um, I have guys with like an, oh, a 2001 Jixxon 1000 that come to me and they'll be like, oh, can you flash your bike? And I'm one of those kinds of guys that do business where I'm like, I can flash it, but there's zero benefit. So I'm not going to flash it because it's just, I, it, to me, it's robbing. So you want to look at like a lot of the bikes that have um, electronically controlled throttle. That's the main bikes that you want to look at getting flashed because uh, of all the restrictions. I see. Uh, let's see. The next question we have for you is um, uh, if someone's interested in getting their ECU flash, what's the easiest way to go about it? Um, you want to probably, there's a couple different companies um, that you can send the ECU uh, to. Um, me personally, I like to have somebody that's local. So that way, if you need to make any changes, you don't have uh, two weeks of shipping where your bike's down kind of thing. Um, so local is very important when it comes to flashing. So, you know, if you have an issue, you just uh, go back to them and tell them what you need to change. And, uh, you know, like me and myself, if someone needs a change, I don't charge them for any changes on the ECU flash because, uh, you know, it's, it's simple. I see. Uh, and how much uh, do ECU flashes cost and how much does the Tebow Fast by Few flash cost? So me personally, I charge $250 for a flash. Um, I've seen ranges. Uh, there's, there's some that are 100 and there's some that'll go up to like 300. Um, they're all around the same price. Mine, mine for the 250, uh, that includes me putting it on the dyno and taking it off the dyno and actually showing results. Um, which is something that not too many people that actually flash can do. I see. And if someone were to basically send their ECU in to get flash, they wouldn't get the benefit of having their bike on the dyno as well. Correct. Okay. And uh, the last question we have for you is uh, if someone changes, you know, their exhaust or air filter and stuff like that, do they need to get their bike reflashed or once it's flashed, is it, is it good to go? Once it's flashed, it's good to go. Okay. Um, the only time that you would want to technically reflash it is if you 
tuned through the, your ECU, you know what I mean? So if you're tuned through your flash, then you would obviously, you may need to get it tuned, but it's, you know, it's up to you, obviously. All right, so we hear a lot of guys uh, out on the streets and just in general talking about power commanders. So what's your take on uh, power commanders and how that uh, differentiates from getting a bike flash? Okay, so a lot of people have the misconception that they're gonna buy a power commander and they instantly make power. That's not the case. A uh, power commander is a tool for someone like me or a tuner to be able to adjust your air fuel ratios, okay? If you get a power commander and you don't plan on getting your bike dyno tuned, then you have wasted your money because a power commander is 100% useless, okay? Um, one of the best things about a power commander is, um, for me, when I'm dyno tuning, I can dyno a power commander in every part of the table, you know, uh, in 45 minutes. And uh, I can make the air fuel exact. And it's so much easy, easier to tune than doing it like through the ECU. Oh, so would you recommend getting a flash done before uh, a power commander? Okay, so that's a that's actually a good question. Um, some of the bikes, um, Jixers are really known for this. Hondas are very known for it. Um, they run two different maps. So when the bike's uh, running like below 200 degrees, it's got like a high advanced map. And then once it gets over, once it starts overheating around 220 degrees or anything over 200, all the bikes are different. They, they switch maps and they pull timing and they pull, uh, they pull fuel, you know, and they, they kind of restricts the bike. So for me personally, I like to flash them before tuning because I always get more power, I get more consistent power, and um, I believe in tuning the bike where you're gonna ride it, temperature-wise. So not everybody has a bike that's gonna run at 180 degrees, and then, you know, our bikes are gonna be constantly variating when it comes to temperature, so it's important to have a solid base for your uh for your tps map i think it's super important to flash it first and then um yeah that's a good question awesome well appreciate it tebow and uh thank you a lot for uh, answering these questions all right guys have fun